Hello, welcome to another unboxing. This time, find your inner peace with a aroma nebulizer, aromatherapy diffuser. Now there's quite a few different types on the market and the most common one is the one with the little ceramic disc at the bottom that vibrates really fast, ultrasound, and you put water in with your oil and it makes a mist. Now these are different. You only put the oil into these, no water, and it has an air pump inside and it blows air across a very, very small gap and creates a mist of just the oil that comes out. So these are much stronger and um, it actually makes the oil last quite some time. So we're going to do an unboxing and I'm going to wear it up in the hopefully you might be able to see the mist and what have you and if there's any coloured LEDs in it and what have you. I've got one already, really like it, and I'd like one in another room with a different scent in that I can just turn on and off occasionally, so. And the last one I bought on Wish.com, but I got this one on Amazon, about £30. And if you have a look, the same one is also 60 or 80 The, the prices are just all over the place, so if you're thinking of buying one of these, have a good look. Have a look on some of the other sites too, not just Amazon. But I noticed some, like with Wish.com, you think, oh, that's a good price. But by the time you get to the checkout, there'll be the postage on in that and whatever. It's not cheaper at all. So I ended up back on Amazon. Essential oil nebulizer. So yeah, they, they, they tend to be anything with the word nebulizer in, and it's this sort rather than the sort that you put um, water in. And there's quite a few in the series, and that was the one I got last time, and I wanted another one of them. But it wasn't on Amazon for anything under about 60 quid, so I couldn't have that one. So I've got a slightly different uh, glass design. And this one was about 80 quid or something. They all do the same thing, it's just different styles. So if you do want to pause and look at the instructions, it's probably in there. Uh, Quite a strange translation. Yeah, don't worry about how many drops, just fill it, but don't fill it over the little bit at the top. Actually, did I do that properly? I'll just do that one again. So you can pause it if needs be. There we go. So it's quite nicely packaged. Let's hope the glass isn't broken. This is the important bit. Ah, good. Now, unlike the ceramic discs, which will eventually wear out and they become less efficient over time and can get clogged and what have you, this will last forever. This will carry on doing the same thing as long as you look after it for a lifetime. So let's just put that up close. So let's see if we can actually see properly what's going on here. It's a bit too much camera. I'm trying to get it without uh, too much glare. But there is a tiny, ah, there we go. So there's a tiny, tiny metal spout, a metal glass spout with another bit of glass bent towards it. Now that blows air across the ever tiny one and makes tiny tiny little spurts in the inside the glass which eventually become a vapour. Now for this to work it needs a air pump. Of course the air pump will wear out in time but this this bit here no moving parts you see so I mean, it may get blocked and you need to clean it with a bit of alcohol just shake it around inside. I haven't had that, I haven't had mine block at all or need any sort of maintenance, I just fill it just underneath the top of the uh, little jet thing there with your essential oil and that's it and just fill it when it needs filling again. So it works on 5 volts so this could work off USB this one, that's interesting and you get a, you get this where you can you can change the speed of the pump to make more or less mist. Now this bit fits in to here, into the pump, which is in the wood base here. It's quite a tight fit, but just be careful. 
There we go. So there it is. No black power bone there. It's rather nice, isn't it? So my last one was a dome. This is slightly different. In fact, the base is different as well. Lovely piece of wood, by the way. Nice piece of wood. I mean, it may be possible if the motor does give in to replace the motor inside, possibly. Anyway, so I say I've had the other one. So you've got a pipette to uh, to pop your oil in with, it's just a plastic one. And we've hopefully got the. I've really liked these uh, bags. There's something. It's a different type of plastic. It feels nearly like. Um, it's nearly like. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It doesn't feel much like plastic. Put it that way. It's more like clothing. Now the last little one I had like this. Yeah, it's the same sort. Very good. Okay. You might think. Oh, hang on. That's not going to go in my plug socket. But what actually happens is you just. Pull it up because it doesn't need a nerf. That just gives that, that's just your 5 volts USB. Oh, it actually says a thousand milliamps on there, so it's actually overpowered. So that's good. So you've got a bit of headroom on the power supply, so it won't get worked too hard. Or I would expect you could work it off a spare USB port somewhere. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, good. Need that. So that that changes the uh, output just a small amount, like that. Excellent. So we have everything we need here. Now, I do get quite congested, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Obas oil in this one. You may be familiar. I quite often put a little bit on my bed at night on underneath the pillow. Of course it can be quite hot on the skin so it's a good idea not to actually get it on your face. So I always put it on the underside of the pillow or each side of the pillow before I go to bed. And I thought this might be a nice alternative to put some more bass oil in here and just uh, have it on for uh, I don't know how long. Ten minutes? An hour? Half an hour? And uh, just uh, fill the room with the uh, smell of Orbass or clear the um, sinuses. Right, I'll go and get a bottle, fill this up and uh, see where we are then. Okay, so unit is plugged in, turned off. And in fact, you can run it empty by the way, it doesn't, doesn't hurt it, but it's just an air pump, so. As you can see there is an LED in the middle there. So you do get a, a little change in colour. Right, let's take that out. So I'm going to use a bottle of Orbas oil. With any luck, I might be able to get the whole lot in. This is the bigger bottle. And in fact, where are we? 30 mils this is. So obviously I'm not going to do it drop by drop, or it'll be here all night. Let's just see how we're doing. I think it might be all right. Yeah, I think it might be okay. That's 30 millilitres, and it doesn't cover the top. It's still visible, so that's okay. In fact, I think you could probably take a little bit more. You could probably put about maybe 40 or maybe 50 million. Anyway, that, that's enough, and that will last for ages. Absolutely ages that will last for. Let's put this little restrictor on. Now let's fill it up. You see it cloud up inside. Let's 
Oh, I can smell it already. If I put this black background behind here, yeah, you can see it just about there. See it coming out? But you have to remember that that is pure oil this time. It's not a mixture of oil and water. So you won't need this on as long as other devices. So, I mean, if it was beside your bed, for example, <clears throat> that might put some people off. I mean, it's quite enough. It's got like a rubber pad on the bottom, as we saw earlier. It's not mega loud, but it, you know, if you're sensitive to noise and you're lucky enough to have a quiet bedroom, that might be too much noise for you. But if you didn't put it right by the bed, if you don't need to have it right next to you, it'll soon fill the room up. If it's quiet if I put it on this. Yeah, it is. So being wood, wood on wood, that makes quite a noise. So if you just pop it on the piece of um, foam that came with it, or cut a circle, if you like, won't be as noisy then. Yeah, definitely quieter. So I'm going to go and turn the light out, and let's see if we can see uh, a little movie light. Oh, that's quite nice. Subtle, it's not very bright. But it's just enough so you can see that there's uh, some um, nebulising going on. That's a lovely unit. And I think I prefer these to the uh, ones, because I find with the ones with water, I think, you know, after, I don't know, six hours or something, it's empty. Whereas with this sort, this this will last for some time. Because it's a tiny, tiny, tiny amount going through that. Tiny amount. Now there's no control on the light, by the way. You can't turn it off. That might be a problem for some people. And you can't change it to, say, like, single colour or anything. There's no control. The only control you've got is speed. And obviously, you can turn it right off as well. So, for example, if you have got it plugged into like a media player or a clock or something that's got a USB next to your bed, you can actually turn it right off if you're not using the transformer, which is uh, good to know. Well, there we are. So that's a very nice way of making some very nice smells in your house without having to worry about lots of water all the time. I say because it's oil, you really don't have to clean this. I mean, the chance of getting blocked or remote, unless you use something you shouldn't do in there, as long as you use an essential oil, something thin, and you don't put any water in. If you put water in this, it won't work. Okay, it's got to be oil. So there we are. So that was a little look at my latest uh, aromatherapy nebulizer. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.